Hello everybody, welcome to today's episode of Easy SAP ABAP. So on today's episode, I wanted to show you guys how to change the actual DenPro screen for a table view maintenance. So we're going to use three transactions here. Actually, probably not even three, but we'll go ahead. Probably not going to use SE80. We're going to use SE11 and SM30. And we're going to look at a table that I've already created called Z Employee. If I display this table, I can see these fields. We got client, ID, first name, last name, gender, date of birth, hire date, termination date, social security number. Now if we go to transaction SM30 to maintain this table, we can see here that our view maintenance dialog doesn't show all the fields in view. And the bad part about that is if you know you have this table that maybe somebody that's not very technical is going to be maintaining. They might, you know, enter these entries and then go down to the next row and enter something or modify something, not realizing that there's all these fields out here. So what we need to do in newer SAP systems, when you generate your table maintenance dialog, it's going to try to resize itself. But in older systems, uh, ECC 6, for example, you're not going to have this automatically resize itself with field additions. So we do have these extra fields here. We like for this table control to actually move over and expand so we can see all of these fields. So to do that, we can go to transaction SE11 and take a look at our table. We'll go to change. Look at our table, go to utilities at the top, go to table maintenance generator. And if you guys haven't already defined a table maintenance dialog for your table, I think one of the very first videos I put on YouTube was how to create a custom table and define a table maintenance dialog. So if you have any questions there, just go back and watch that video. I go through it in rather, rather fine detail. So you should be able to get to this step at least. So we're here in the generate table maintenance dialog. We can see here that our maintenance screen number we have a one-step maintenance type here. If it was a two-step, there'd be a different screen uh, for a single screen maintain. We're not going to have that in this one step. We just have one screen. We wouldn't need to change the single screen, I don't believe. But the overview screen, which is what we see when we go to transaction SM30 or Z employee, this is the actual DEMPRO itself here. And if I go to system status, I actually should be able to see the program name, the screen number, which we see here. So we could go in and edit this in SE80, typing in this program name, and then finding screen number one in transaction SM80. But we're going to take the lazy man's route here, and we're going to just use this generate table maintenance dialog, and we're going to double click on our screen number. So we're going to go in. To our screen, we see the screen attributes, view maintenance, overview screen, elements, all of our different elements of our table. We can see here that all of our fields are included. And then our flow logic was the initial screen that we were at. Nothing we really need to change here except for the layout. So the layout is going to open up Graphical Screen Painter. We can double click on this to open it up. Make sure we're in change mode here. If not, we can click on this pencil glasses icon. So what we need to do is actually take this table control and expand it on out. I'm just going to drag it almost to the edge of the screen. That'll leave us plenty of space here for our additional fields that I just added. I can check this to make sure everything's OK. I can activate it, close this window. And now that this is active, if I go to transaction SM30 once more, go to maintain. We'll see that our screen is nice and wide and we can get to every single field on our table. So that is how you can modify the actual DenPro associated with the table maintenance dialog. Now the downside to this guys, if you regenerate the table maintenance dialog, say for example you add or remove a field from the table or change maybe a data element, domain, something like that, the DenPro is going to get regenerated automatically and you're going to lose this extension to the actual DenPro screen that we just did where we drug it over and reactivated it. So that's something to keep in mind. You know, it's best to, if you're going to work with table maintenance dialogues, or you're going to add fields to table tables, um, always check transaction SM30 to make sure that the view maintenance screen looks like it needs to look. 
and uh, that just about sums it up. I think you guys could come in here actually if you wanted to get really crazy. We'll go back to our table maintenance generator. Double click on this screen. This screen is a Den Pro, just like any module pool program. It's a regular screen. We could actually come in here, I think. Let's say we didn't want this to be so large. We'll just, well, let's keep all our fields in view. We could even add text over here, maybe a comment to let our user know. Let's just call it text. Help one, and give it some text, say these values will be used in program XYZ or whatever so maybe a comment over there and since this is a regular den pro we can back out of here we can activate our screen again go back to transaction SM30 go back into our maintain and we can see here we actually can add text and custom elements to our view maintenance so this is really, really neat if, for example, you have this table, it's not going to be used very often, and you know maybe there are some caveats where a user, if they enter this value, they need to enter this value, this whatever. So in Screen Painter, you can go and add actual elements to the screen here to uh, let either you as a developer know, okay, this is being used in program XYZ, or let an end user know, you know what's going on. So that's pretty neat. You could actually, I mean, probably even extend this further if you wanted to. I don't really generally like to, other than just to change the size, maybe. Because, like I said, if you regenerate your table maintenance dialog, it's going to wipe out all these changes. So, you know, don't, don't get too crazy on your programming there, you know, or maybe somebody in your team or somebody else in, in your IT department that supports SAP might come in and say, oh, I added a field, let me regenerate this view dialog. And then your changes are kind of gone, so... But anyway, that just about sums up how you can do this type of behavior. So if you guys have any sort of questions on this topic, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll try and make a video if it's something that will be helpful to you. Um, for more personal questions, more specific questions that might not pertain necessarily where you need a whole YouTube video, my email is generally located in the video description, so please feel free to shoot me an email and I'll get back to you in my somewhat limited free time after I'm off of work. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave me a like. Subscribe to see more like it, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.